it's Michelle from Scrap Secrets and welcome to another installment of Sketch Sundays. So this Sunday the sketch comes to you from My Favorite Things. It is sketch number 214 and it's right here. This is what the sketch looks like. I will post the link to it down below. And I'm using My Favorite Things stamps and dies. The first thing that I'm going to use is the My Favorite Things background stamp, the zebra background. So I believe this is a 6x6 six six cling stamp set. So I don't ever uh, take the backing off of this. I just ink up the stamp and then place the paper over top of it that I want to uh, stamp the image onto. So you'll see that in a minute. The My Favorite Things Wild Things stamp set. And this is what it looks like. So we are going to be using the zebra down at the bottom. And then I also bought the My Favorite Things Wild Things Coordinating Dies. And this is what they look like. So. And as of right now, I'm not positive if it's going to stay this way because, again, I just have kind of a rough idea in my mind. I'm going to be using Hero Arts Shadow Ink in Red Royal, the mid-tone. And the My Favorite Things Black Licorice Hybrid Ink. So those are the two ink colors. And I believe I'm also going to be using some little bit of bling from uh, this Bling It adhesive brand. These are just like little red dots. And I'm also going to be using some pop dots. These are the Studio G 100 pop dots. And I think these were like a dollar and then I got them with a 20 or 30% off coupon as well. So very inexpensive for 100 of them. Uh, so I'm either going to be using that or these pearls here. These And these are in Snowflake. These are from AC Moore. I believe the Bling It is also from E.C. Moore. I may be using some glossy accents because I'm really, really loving this stuff. Um, I'm not sure. And then the last thing that I know that I'm going to use, I'm not sure which one I'm going to use, but I'm going to use one of the Spellbinders dies, the circles, so that I can make a notch out of it. Okay. So the first thing that I did was I took my 8.5 by 11 piece of paper and cut it in half and then folded it to make a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. And then I took some black cardstock and I made it uh, four by five and a quarter. And then I cut a white piece down to a quarter, uh, an eighth of an inch smaller than the black cardstock. So what I want to do for right now, I'm not really sure if this is going to stay or not. What I want to do is I want to stamp on the background. So I'm going to take the zebra background stamp and I'm going to take my My Favorite Things hybrid ink and I'm going to ink up the stamp. Now this is the first time I've inked up the stamp and usually the ink goes on really, really well. You can see how nicely the ink goes on. It's not really beading up in any areas. Um, like some of the cheaper stamps and inks will do for you. I actually really like the My Favorite Things um, inks and stamps. I don't think I need to ink it up all the way there. So I'm going to close this up and then I'm going to lay it down here. And so as to not get any ink on my hands, I'm going to place this down. And then I'm going to take a scrap piece of paper and lay it over top of it and then just rub where the paper is and I'll hold it down on one end so that it doesn't shift and then I'll hold it down on this end and hopefully I will get a nice impression. It's just easier than trying to get the stamp even by flipping it over. This I find is just a little bit easier and I can kind of control the pressure that goes on too the paper. Okay, so let's see. I got a nice stamped image on my scrap paper. So let's see how it comes out. I'm just going to use my scissors to kind of lift it up here. Oops. There you go. Got a nice zebra image on there. So I'm going to put that to the side. I'm going to clean that up in a little bit. Okay, so the next thing I did was I took that die and I cut out the zebra shape out of the dies. So 
So I want to take that same, my favorite things, Black Licorice Hybrid ink, and ink up the zebra. Make sure that I got a nice even coverage on it. this to the side and then because you can see through these clear stamps I'm just going to try to line it up the best that I can so it has a little white border around all of the sides and I'm just going to press it down on the sides that one came out really really good it's probably the best one that I've ever stamped. So, it looks so cute. So. Now, on the sketch, there is a cutout on the side where the image goes. So, I'm going to show you. Look at it again real quickly. Because from what I remember off the top of my head, that's what it looked like. Yes, there's like a little... If you look at it, there's that circle piece right there, and then the sentiment comes off of it. So what I want to do is I want to put the zebra in that little circle right there. So what I'm going to do is I want to take, and I just wanted to see what circle would fit, and I thought this was the circle that probably would. And so now what I'm going to do is put this behind this. Okay, so this is this and put it on the card base because what I want to do is figure out how far into the card base I want to cut because it's not going to cut the whole I just want to see how far I want to cut so I want to cut like this and try to make it as even as possible because I'm going to pop the zebra up but I kind of want to make sure that there's enough room because you're going to see the black layer underneath of it. Okay. So, I'm going to put the washi tape here. I'm going to make sure it's as even as it can possibly be. And then I'm going to take my cuddle bug. This isn't staying. And grab another piece of washi tape. another piece of washi tape and try to get a little bit of the stickiness off of it. If the washi tape is too sticky and you don't really want it to be that sticky because you want it to be able to be removed easily without tearing the paper. But you want to make sure that it's also going to stick down onto it. You can actually put the washi onto the piece that's being cut out because you're not going to need that piece. So I'm going to take it and place it in between my blades, or my, my plates. I'm actually just going to run this through. My cuddle bug. So here's my cuddle bug. I know you can't really see what I'm doing here. But I'll show you as soon as it's done running through. So now you have the piece here, so what's going to happen is you're going to have the black piece behind it. So you're going to have this, and then we're going to take the zebra and we're going to pop him up in here. So it's going to be kind of a plain card until we put some of the accents on it. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get my ATG, and hopefully this is working right. For some reason, this tape has been giving me such issues. It's one of the first times I've ever had an issue with this. And I've had this for a really long time. But it keeps coming off of the roller. Okay. So, I'm just going to take the black piece and line it up so there's a little bit of a border on all sides. 
And then I want to do the same thing. I want to put ATG on the back of the piece. See what I mean? Does anybody else's get like this? This is the, like I said, this is like the first time this has ever happened to me. And I love this tape. And it's kind of expensive for this to happen because I feel like I've wasted like half a roll. So I'm not really happy. I probably should have just given up and put a new roll in put a new roll in there, but it's only about a quarter of the way through it when this started really giving me issues. Gonna line the card up so that there's even borders on all sides and then I had taken a piece a little piece of white paper like scrap paper and I'm going to use the sentiment wild about you and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that red hero arts shadow ink so that it gives me a little bit of color so this is a red white and black card and I'm going to stamp it in the middle. Wild about you. This is the first time I've ever used any of these stamps. It stamps so nicely. Let me see if you can see that. Wild about you. Let's put that to the side. And I want to attach that. I'm not sure if I want to attach that with pop dots or attach the zebra with pop dots. So I feel like that sentiment, no, I think I'm going to attach the sentiment regularly. So I'm just going to use my Zig 2A glue pen just because it's a lot easier to put down little elements with the Zig. Okay, so I'm just going to line it up, get it on the card nice and straight. Then I'm going to take the zebra and I'm going to take the pop dots that I got from AC Moore, the very inexpensive ones, and just start to pop the zebra up. The nice thing about this is there are a lot of dots in here, but also the pieces in between the foam can also be used since it has the foam and the sticky on both sides. You can also use those if you need little pieces like straight lines or anything you can use those so just going to place some of the pop dots on the back of the zebra I know this is exciting footage right okay and one more and then we'll take Zebra. These off the back of the zebra. It's kind of tough to do with these nails. And then I think I'm going to add some glossy accents to the zebra give him a little bit of extra dimension and shine. So we're going to pop the zebra up. So there you go. It's wild about you. And then I think I'm going to take the glossy accents if I can find it. And for the glossy accents, you just want to take a real light coat and I'm going over all of the white parts. Actually, I'm going to go over everything. Let's put on a layer of glossy accents. And this will take a little while to dry. So I will post a picture on my blog of the final card once the glossy accents has dried to show you guys what it all looks like. 
and then onto his tail real quickly. Just gonna make sure the whole zebra gets covered. So I know it's not going to look like much now, and I can't really. But. And the last thing that I want to do is I want to take some of these blingets and put the red underneath of the sentiment. Three. Take three of them. Stuck together. Just want to put those three like that. So there's the card. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have comments or questions, please feel free to leave them below. And to see what the card looks like all dried after the after the glossy accents have dried, check out my blog. The link is below in the more information. If you're watching this over on YouTube, and. I will see you guys soon for another Sketch Sunday. Bye!